Now we're going to do some speed ramping. The speed ramping effect is accomplished by providing non-constant speed. This is easy to do in Twixter by keyframing values using one of these two methods, either by frame number or speed percentage. Let's get started. We're going to use the same source material as we saw in some of our other tutorials. This is Jesse, and this footage is HDV 1440 by 1080, 29.97 frames per second. After Effects is guessing lower field first, but I know this footage is upper field first. Just right mouse click and go to Interpret Footage, change to upper field first. Now let's create a new composition. We drag the source to the new composition icon and we're going to keep this footage the same length so we don't need to pre-comp. We just add Twixter. I'm going to right mouse click and go to Effects, Revision Plugins, and Twixter. If we go to the Effects Controls, let's put the display on Twixter to Output change the input fields to upper field first to match the After Effects project and the footage. Let's go ahead and check the frame rate. It's 29.97 and that matches the source material so it's fine. We would change it if it didn't match. Now in our output control let's look at the time remap mode. We're going to choose frame number this time. In the previous lessons, we chose speed. We're also going to go to frame number and select the stopwatch, which indicates that we want to animate the frame number. Twixter considers the first frame to be zero. If the frame display in After Effects does not show zero when you go to the first frame in the timeline, you may want to go to After Effects settings and change them so that After Effects considers zero as the first frame. And to also ensure that After Effects and Twixter are using the same starting number. You can do that easily by going to File, Project Settings, and type zero in the dialog box for a start numbering frames at. Also, go ahead and select frames instead of timecode base or feet and frames for the display style. This way the timeline will display frame numbers. With the frame number control we can now keyframe the frame number parameter as follows. Retiming using frame number is almost the exact same way you can retime in After Effects using its time remapping control. I'm going to go to frame 0 of the output. I will enter frame 0 in the frame number dialog box. This causes Twixter to output the first frame of the source clip at the first frame of the output. A keyframe is set because we had previously selected the stopwatch. I'm going to navigate to frame 50 of the output in the timeline now, and I will keyframe frame 25 in the frame number control. This causes Twixter to play back input frames 0 to 25 within the output frames 0 to 50. We can take a quick look at how that plays back. Now I will navigate to output frame 75 in the timeline and I will keyframe frame 10 in the frame number control. This causes Twixter to play back input frames 25 to 10, making it go backwards within the output frames 50 to 75. Now I navigate to output frame 150 and I keyframe frame 150 in the frame number control. Input frames 10 to 150 will now be played back within the output frames 50 to 150. This will actually be a slowdown, but the entire duration will still be the same despite any speed changes we have made because the first frame is still at zero and the last frame is still at 150. Let's go ahead and play back the result. Now we can also alter the animation curves for these keyframes. 
We can easily change the interpolation between frames by selecting the keyframe itself, right mouse clicking to keyframe interpolation. I'm going to choose Bezier. These are standard keyframe controls in After Effects, so any of the animation controls that you are used to can be used to define your animation. We can pull the handle up to have the car accelerate and pull the handle down to decelerate. Now let's check out our new result. Jesse, looks like you just can't make up your mind. Well, this is how you do a speed ramp in Twixter.